Rhodes is the largest of the Dodecanese Islands in the southern Aegean. It stands out from the rest because of the medieval architecture that remains from when the Knights Hospitaller wrapped the capital in impenetrable walls. To rebel attacks by the Ottomans, the magical old town is UNESCO listed, so its history remains beautifully preserved for visitors. Rhodes also has a history of a much more ancient kind, which can be explored at the Lindos Acropolis, the Acropolis of Rhodes, and the ruins of the city of Cameros. Hello guys, welcome to the top 10 destinations. In this video, we are going to tell you the top 10 things to do in Rhodes, Greece. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Now, let's get started. 10. Monolithos Castle While this destination is quite far from most tourist centers, it's a journey that's well worth it. Raised by the Knights of St. John, Monolithos Castle was once among the four most powerful strongholds on the island and was never conquered. Inside the walls are two 15th century chapels, St. George's and St. Pantalaemon's. There are rocky paths around the castle that you can follow for a view of Mount Chromitis and its cliffs behind, and some of the smaller Dodecanese islands out to sea. 9. St. Paul's Beach St. Paul's Beach is a perfect bathing spot with an unmatched view of the Lindos Acropolis. The main sandy beach is on the southern curve of the bay, with just a small opening on its northeastern side, providing shelter and gentle waves for tourists. On the north end, right beneath the Acropolis, is another smaller pebble beach, both filled up quickly in summer, where you'll be sharing the beach with hundreds of people. But that takes nothing from the main attraction, tranquil, transparent sea, shallow enough that even non-swimmers can wade in and relax. 8. Sambika Monastery Recurring theme in Rhodes is that difficult climbs will be rewarded with historical monuments and stunning views. This is the case at the church in a national park, above one of the best beaches on the island. The road will only take you so far, which after you have to scale a stairway with 350 steps, reaching a peak of 300 meters above sea level. To the north, you can look down the small resort to Columbia. While southwards, you can see as far as the Lindos Acropolis 20 kilometers away. The church itself is from the 18th century and was built in the Dodecanesian style. With hollow roof tiles, traditionally, women struggling to conceive would make the pilgrimage to church barefoot, to pray to the icon of the Virgin. 7. Mandraki Port Mandraki Port is the northernmost of Road City Three Harbors and the most fun to explore on foot. There's a path up the east side, leading to the Fort of St. Nicholas, lined by the three iconic windmills. It started out as a guard tower in the mid-15th century, but became a fully-fledged fortress under Grand Master De Abuson in 1480. This also used to be the location of the Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This representation of the sun god Helios was erected in 280 BC and was toppled by an earthquake not long after in 226 BC. 6. Prasonisi On Rhodes' far south is a coastline unlike any other on the island. It's home to Prasonisi, which is a tidal island joined by the mainland by a long sandbar. In winter, when the tide is high, this can disappear completely underwater, leaving Prasonisi stranded. In summer, people visit to hike on the unique island, which is a nature reserve, and take the opportunity to sit on the beach bar with the water on both sides. The beach is exposed to sea breezes, and the sails of windsurfers are a common sight. The more sheltered east flank has inviting shallow water, and is preferred by less experienced water sports enthusiasts. The west side and its rolling waves are favored by seasoned windsurfers and kite surfers. 5. Cameros 
Long before Road City was founded, Cameros was one of the largest urban centers on the island, occupied from prehistoric times by the Mycenaeans. The ruins of the city are on Rhodes' northwest coast, at the base of Mount Acromitus. On a terrace at the top of the Acropolis, with the remnants of the Temple of Athena, there is also a stoa with two rows of traditional Doric columns and a reservoir that can hold 600 cubic liters of water, with terracotta pipes to conduct it to the residential quarters below. On the middle terrace was the main settlement, which has housing blocks in a grid pattern. Below this is the later Hellenistic temple, a fountain house, Agora, and a wall inscribed with dedications to deities like Zeus, Poseidon, and Artemis. 4. Archaeological Museum of Rhodes The island's main archaeological museum is the Hospital of St. John, a late Gothic complex with an arcaded courtyard on two levels. In front of the western arcade is a striking late. Hellenistic tomb monument, with a lion holding the head of a bull between its paws. Traced back to before, this is a Byzantine mosaic from the early Christian Belisca of Carpatha on the island of Carpathos. Another outstanding piece to track down is the statue of the Crouching Aphrodite from the 1st century BC, modeled on the famous Hellenistic representation of Aphrodite attributed to Doidalsis two centuries before. There are also vases and sculptures from Cameros, Stiles, and Capitals, as well as the medieval tombs of knights and coats of arms collected from buildings around the city. 3. Palace of the Grand Master of the Knight of Rhodes One of the only examples of Gothic architecture in Greece, this castle belongs to Rhodes City World Heritage Site and has roots going back to the 7th century, when it was a Byzantine citadel. The castle's heyday came in the 14th century, when the Knights Hospitaller turned the fortress into their base of power and a plush residence for the Order's Grand Masters. When Rhodes was under Italian control in the 20th century, damage from a 19th century explosion was repaired and Benito Mussolini chose the castle as a residence. Today, the palace is a museum, telling the story of its contents and exhibiting the centuries-old architecture of the main hall and the arcaded courtyard. There are also artifacts from around the Dodecanese, including a series of mosaics from Kos. 2. Lindos Acropolis Lindos Acropolis lies to the east of Lindos village, and it is a site that has been inhabited by a long line of civilizations. Its history goes back to the Mycenaeans in the 7th century BC, who were the first to worship here, while the Byzantines, Knights of St. John, and the Ottomans used the rock for defensive purposes. What's left is an exciting mishmash of ancient ruins and the 14th century castle of the Knights of St. John. The view of the coastline from the top is enough reason to make the climb or donkey ride to the top. There isn't enough room to list everything you need to see on the Lindos Acropolis, but the vestiges of the Doric Temple of Athena, Lindia from the 4th century BC, and the Propylaea Gateway from the same period are must. See also the Trereme relief carved by the steps of the Acropolis and the Hellenistic Stoa from the 3rd century BC. 1. Road City The medieval center of Road City is encased by a crescent-shaped fortification. Pass through the gates and you'll be on rambling cobblestone streets, ducking under vaulted passages and flying buttresses. It's the sort of place where you won't mind losing your way, and it pays to be nosy and get a look at the magnificent interior courtyards behind the wooden doors. Arrow Strait, the Streets of the Knights, is on an ancient road and part of a gothic ensemble known as the Knights' Quarter from the 1400s. The way is edged by inns for the Order of the Knights of St. John of Jerusalem, lined up in different nationalities including English, French, Spanish, Italian, and German. In the western streets of the old town are faint traces from Ottoman times, such as the Hammam and the Sultan Mustafa Mosque, both from the 1700s. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.